How you doing, everybody? Uh, welcome to the WJR channel, uh, month two, mystery tackle box unveil. Um, you know, we started this channel initially because uh, we knew nothing about fishing and we bought uh, cameras and we were going to videotape our adventures and we were going to videotape fishing and big fish being coming in and, you know, landing, you know, four pound bass and having fun and putting videos up. And uh, I think we have four videos up. One is me in a ripped in ripped waders pulling in a 10 inch bass. Um, one is me falling. I don't know if I posted that one. Um, but it turned out to be pretty comical. And uh, it is what it is. And we're just having fun with it. Basically, uh, I'm a painter, she's a teacher, and we know nothing about fishing. So as we're learning, we thought it'd be fun just to share a couple of videos. And that's what we're doing. But Mystery Tackle Box, Unveil, month two. Um, last month I got a couple good baits. Um, you know, you have a lot of big name baits, you know. Last month I got the Booyah Prank, I got a Lunker Hunt Frog, um, a D-Blade Advantage Spinnerbait. Um, I threw a spinnerbait once in my life for five minutes. Um, two nights ago I actually threw that D-Blade Advantage they gave me. It was a half ounce chartreuse and I hit a two pound bass. That was pretty fun. Um, but in these boxes you're also going to get small time baits little companies they support too um like big titties uh, big d's big titty worms uh stuff like that some off brands but you know you also get strike king you get z-man you get booyah you get lunker hunt um you're gonna get those baits too and uh it's all about me getting stuff in the mail that i would never buy not knowing what to buy and uh reading the instructions on on how to throw it so, first, we have our mystery taco box knife opener. So, let's see what we got. I just waited 30 days for this. All right. So, when you first open up your box, it should come with the dibbles right here. Dibbles, tips, and tricks. This basically gives me what I got in the box, the prices, and inside it tells me how to throw them. So first I'm gonna pull up here is uh, Max Action Claw Design, juiced with stank, Sawcra, creature baits. So, like I don't have enough creature baits, and I have a thousand creature baits, I probably have one in my pocket. I have some on the counter. I have some in the car under my seat. I have some in my boat. They're everywhere. But these look pretty cool. I was actually just telling a buddy of mine, I want some darker craw baits. And this is the color I was looking for that we can't buy in the store. You have to order them. They're pretty heavy. I'll definitely throw this. I will definitely throw this creature bait. All right. So it says... Uh, which one is this? Sawcraw, five ninety nine. It says. All right. The runt. The runt. It's a lip crankbait. What's the weight on it? No weight. It's a rattle. Little tail on it, it's pretty cool. Jitterbugish, I guess. But we will definitely throw that too. That's two things out of this box this month that I will throw. Now this thing looks like I'm gonna go shark fishing. It's made by Weston. And it is I don't know what it is. But it's a big swim bait. Looks like I'm going to catch striped bass off the shore with it. I'm not even going to open it. There's no weight to it. But uh, this is something I will definitely not throw. It will sit in my garage. And you know what? I'm going to give this to my brother-in-law, Phil. All right? Phil, happy birthday. Oh, we have another crankbait. This one dives two to five feet. Norman Lures. Very cool. 
check this baby out. Or not. I'm gonna kill myself opening this thing up. You know what? We're not opening this thing up. It's pretty cool. Alright. Definitely throw that. So those are three good baits. Uh, two out of three I'm gonna throw. Now Peg Z. I don't know what this is. Peg Z. Peg Z, Peg Z. Carl's Stash Peg Z. I have no idea what it is. It's a bunch of strings attached to that. So if anybody can uh, call into my channel, let me know what this thing is. It'd be great. Otherwise, you know what? We're never going to use it. <laughs> Swim jig. Flipping jigs. Three-eighths ounce. Flipping jig. We're throwing this baby, too. It's light. Little football head. Weedless. It's pretty cool. Find a nice trailer for that one. And last but not least, some yum worms. The dinger. Yum yum. Bass love the dinger. Alright, this is my crankbait that we got out before. Very cool. Shiny gold. It's got like a monkey butt color up top. Monkey butt or yeah, it's got some shiny stuff on it. So I mean with bass guys, I can cut up a beer can in half and sort of make a lure in there if they're gonna attack it. If you annoy them enough, they will attack. So, where's the hype? Oh, the hypo tees. That's the Weston. This is called the hypo tees. That's a twelve dollar lure. The flipping jig was four dollars. The runt crankbait was eight twenty nine. Brush bands were a dollar fifty that we th were throwing away immediately. <laughs> Carl stash pegs. No, those are what we're throwing away immediately. They were a dollar fifty. Saw crawls were ten bucks. The dinger was two ninety nine, and Mad N is. Oh, these are the brush bands. These are big ones. These are pretty cool, but they're big. So we're gonna have to find out. Maybe I could throw a creature bait on it, but you know our normal ones are small. Now, I was supposed to get a sticker. This is my sticker. Slappy J. Finley makes no sense. I'm throwing this sticker out as well. No sense. This thing, happy birthday, Phil. All right. Um, like I said, I, I'm going to use three out of these four baits this week. And um, not bad. Not bad. Oh, I was going with this. I wouldn't have bought these these crankbaits, but I'm going to throw them. I wouldn't have bought this big craw, but it looks really cool. It doesn't look too big or too small. And um, that's about it. What else did I want to hit on? I wanted to hit on uh, nothing. That's about it. Um, another boring opening. And... Um, Peace, and we, you know, want to bring some life to this channel. So at the end of every video that we do, and just hit subscribe or like at the bottom, and uh, you know, we'll get stuff done for you. We're gonna do a song on the way out every week. This is from Magic Garden, you know, mid '70s. So hope you enjoy it. birthday phil yeah peace tight lines people <laughs>